So I want to take a minute to show you what we covered in the last video before I move forward with the slideshow. And so in InDesign on the right hand side, so let's reset the workspace before we get started. I recommend using window workspace and typography, so I'm going to reset that. And then I don't like how far my panels are over, so I'm going to grab the dark bar at the top and just kind of move it so that it's in the workspace over here so I can maybe zoom in a little bit better on it. Uh, when you're looking at your document, if you create a new document, file new document, you can create a document that has multiple pages right from the start. In our case, we created a document that just has one page. But after you create it, if you decide that you should have more pages, um, you can add them in a number of ways. And so the first thing you can look at is your pages panel. And if you open that, you'll visually see that there's just one page in the document. You could also try to scroll. I'm going to zoom out here. And you can see that this document only has one page. Uh, at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, I don't know if this is going to come through in the recorded video, but I'm going to try to zoom in on it for you here. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, it will tell you what page you're on, and if you hit this drop-down menu, it will tell you the other pages in your document. Now, the only real page you have is, is page one, um, but you also have a hidden page called a master page, but we're going to ignore that for now. If you want to add additional pages, you can go to the layout menu, choose pages and add a page, and if you do that, you will add one page at a time, and you can continue to go layout pages, add page, layout pages, add page, until you add all the pages in your document. And so now I have four pages. If I scroll, you can see I have four. These are facing pages, and we talked about that in previous video. I would be saying or communicating to whoever I'm giving this file to that I'm creating a booklet. And so page one would be the front cover, and then page two would be the inside front cover, and page three would be the next page, and then page four would be the back cover. If I go back and I double check all those things that we just, just described to view your pages, if I open the pages panel, now I get a visual that I have four pages. If we look in the bottom left hand corner, you can see that I'm still on page one, but now when I hit this drop down, I have a page two, a page three, and a page four. So if I wanted to edit page four, I could select page four and it navigates me to the bottom of the document. The difference between choosing layout pages and add page or inserting pages is the ability to control how many and where the pages go. And so when I added a new page by choosing layout pages add page, I just added one page and it added one page after whatever page I was on. But now I could say add, let's say 12 pages, let's make it a 16 page booklet, add it after page two and select OK. And so now I have a 16 page document. If we look at the pages panel, you can see there's 16 pages. Uh, and then I can add multiple pages. You can also go to layout pages and you can delete pages if you want to or duplicate pages. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Layout pages, you can move pages up and down if you wanted to move page 6 to be page 9. Um, you can duplicate pages, you have to have that page selected. Or you could delete pages, so you could select a page on your pages panel and then delete a page. For now, I'm really concerned that you understand that if you wanted to, you could add multiple pages to your document. And I'm more so concerned that if I show you this visual of the pages going back and forth and some pages ending on the left and some pages starting on the right, that you could tell me that's because it's going to be a booklet. It has facing pages, so page one starts on the right. Then you have what's called a spread. Page two spreads over to page three. Page four spreads to page five page 6 and 7, 8 and 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I guess I lost count, that should be 15, and then this should be 16 down here. And if you're doing a book, the proper ending to a book is that the last page should be on the left-hand side.